So Marvel Snap's newest card is Meek. And my God, this card has absolutely cursed me. I have never had a worse run in Marvel Snap in my life. While trying to record games for this very video, putting Meek in fairly standard run-of-the-mill discard decks that weren't doing anything unusual or unpredictable or unwieldy i managed to go a total of let's see i won five games wow we just won five games but but i lost 18 <laughs> i went five and 18 with meek and you're gonna see me losing a lot of games in this video you're gonna see me losing my mind a little bit you're gonna see meek uh failing and whiffing a little bit in other words I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it to work. Discard felt really, really weak to me. Everybody was just outscaling my stats. I just couldn't get there. You know, even when things lined up well, the numbers just weren't big enough. Too many big blobs, too many big efficient Thanos decks. Um, Miss Marvel outstatting me. It just didn't matter. They, it just didn't get there. And Meek certainly didn't seem to make the difference. So I guess, you know, number one, I could have been playing terribly. I don't know. I'm I'm always a little tired, so who knows? Uh, you know, maybe I hit a really, really bad stretch of variance, but that's incredibly unusual. I normally have great runs, and, and my expected win rate is well north of 50% for most any deck. Um, so to play a real deck and do this poorly, it, it's unheard of. Now, I, you know, I'm not going to say that's Meek's fault, but for me at least, Meek did not push a regular discard deck into relevance. Now, you know, there are a couple different varieties of discard out there, uh, particularly the uh, kind of Perry Manilo, Ravona Rinslayer, uh, Arnim Zola list has been making some waves because kind of, uh, I think Binks made a, a version recently. That didn't feel like a great meek deck to me because then moving where you want to play an Arnim Zola could kind of ruin things, mess you up a little bit. There's a weirdness there. So I didn't I didn't try that. Maybe that's good. I also have some other ideas for meek. I want to try a, a Moon Girl meek deck. Maybe you'll see this tomorrow, for instance, if it goes well, where you're like copying your Meeks and Morbiuses. And I wanted to try like a full in combo version where you're just trying to create multiple chains of Modox and your Meeks are getting up to like 15 power or something, right? So I have some other ideas to try out, but as far as I'm concerned, regular discard is not competitive right now on the infinite ladder. The kind of OG classic discard builds i mean i changed a couple cards but this should have still worked for the most part and it just did not so enjoy my suffering in this video i have failed you meek or perhaps vice versa buddy we just did not get along this card is an absolute curse as far as i'm concerned um yeah meek uh maybe not in Cumbertage. We're we're actually pretty interesting with Cumbertage with discard stuff we can hit the right targets like swarms or apox or whatever Potentially a lot of big payoffs. Uh, Morbius can go mid. He doesn't need to be visible, unlike Meek. Uh, Meek has to see the discards each turn. Morbius just gets them all at once at the end, so. Yeah, Dakin's really good, too. Actually, we can go Dakin Absorbing Man. Oh, my God. If we hit Modok, dude, forget it. I just realized. Now, the Absorbing Man will not scale based on the shards, but Dakin certainly will. Oh, my God. It's a mirror match. Now, there's no way they have Absorbing Man, though, right? The other problem is, how am I going to discard all these? I need... Oh, that's actually a way to do it. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, absorbing Man, we want it to go off twice again. That's going to put me at seven cards. But I'll be able to Colleen Wing through a lot of these next turn. So we always win left. And I think we feel pretty good about winning mid with Morbius, too, potentially. Um, we could even play the Colleen at the end, maybe. Like hide her in the dark dimension like she always hits the right stuff right sif here discards dracula which is pretty low value oh no i need colleen left though no 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 i need colleen left what am i saying no that doesn't make sense um yeah let's just stay on curve here <clears throat> sif can go mid i actually kind of want the power mid to support the morbius i think Left, we we feel obscenely confident about. It's just about winning mid and and right in this in this case. Um, so up to sixteen. They hit the Modok. Okay, if they have swarms, they do get like bonus swarms here, which could make like a Morbius mid really big for them. They also have the Apoc. Okay. 
yeah, I mean, thankfully our Dakin's gonna be big enough to contest that Modoc pretty freely, I hope. It's just about beating these swarms. I could definitely still use a Modoc here. Dracula kind of sucks. Meek, I need you to go mid, man. Oh yeah, Hellcow is actually pretty good. Oh, well, I can't play Hellcow there. Yeah, the Sif, I guess, will always clean up the remaining shard no matter what here. So yeah, um, I wonder if Hellcow goes here to add some power here. We need to contest this. Morbius is big, Sif is big. Meek could go in either place, yeah. This is fine. Yeah, Dakin's gonna win left no matter what. It's really about winning right at this stage. So maybe we do need a, um, <clears throat> maybe we do need Meek to move right. Oh, uh oh, uh, move, move mid. Yeah, we can't win right. Is Morbius big enough? Do they have their own Morbius? I think is the question. <clears throat> Let's see. Moon Knight's fine. Those are just swarms, right? So we're good. Yeah, nice, no Morbius, okay. Ooh, scary though, man, scary. Very similar decks, of course, but the Absorbing Man coming in clutch here just carry against their, like, 27 power just gets wrecked by a single card. That's pretty cool. Hellcat was a good hit. Cloning Bats Morbius is actually pretty insane with Modok. Yeah, that's really insane. Dracula would also be nuts if we hit Apoc. Like, getting multiple Draculas would be really nice as well, but Morbius is fine. Can we get a Meek up the top two? I just want Meeks and Morbius is... Oh, baby. Baby, um, okay, so, oh god, I need this to not be Modoc or Apocalypse, oh god, uh, I'm gonna put this here just in case, we're gonna be, like, way over committed, though, um, because I'm gonna be playing, well, I'll be playing Modoc on six, actually, so no, I can play Dracula here, and then a second Dracula somewhere else, okay, uh, hopefully we don't hit the, the bad cards, Shocker is making something basically free, oh, that sucks. Really sucks. Oh, Meek. You're late, buddy. I uh, need, like, Hell Cow. I guess I can put Meek here. It's kind of free. Because even if I get a Hell Cow next turn, I can play the Hell Cow. I mean, honestly, Sif, Hell Cow, and Samurai are all decent. Even Calling Wing is decent, too. No, I mean, we might still. Dakin's the only bad, only bad card off the top, I would say. Only bow off the top. I feel like they're so behind mid. I'm surprised to see them commit a thing there. I mean, obviously they want to copy it, but it seems okay. Sif is actually chill. That's fine. We can put the meek here. Um, I guess I am playing the apoc next turn though, right? Well, maybe not. I might be playing hell cow or one of the discarders, uh, but meeks are moving anyway, so that's fine. Yeah, Morbius are getting bigger here. One of the Meeks took a stray for a Morbius, which is fine. Oh, I can't play Meek and... Oh, I don't have Dracula anyway. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Meek! Meek! <sighs> Colleen is... Uh, that's okay. I just want to play Apoc, though. Colleen adds... Two... One, one... And, and four is six. So she's worth ten power... I mean, you're just better off playing Apoc, right? They let this go to six, we're 25. So Swarm would be 25 for a tie. I think it's more likely they spread a little. They just roll off six that we win left by a mile. So yeah, let's go like this. Should be fine. Oh my God, that's more stuff than I thought we'd see. Uh, it's cool. Thing okay, that's pretty big to be honest. A bomb is also pretty big. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no, we're fine. No wait. Oh god. Oh, we're not fine. Oh boy, I'm having a hard time, man. Meek on turn one. It's unheard of. Let's go. Can't play it left, but that's fine. We don't care. This is gonna be the difference maker. I've been having a tough streak, dude. I'm gonna have a tough streak with discard. This is gonna be the one that solves it though. This is, uh, Dakin's good, yeah? Uh, we wouldn't mind some swarms to get going just to keep the handful for Meek potentially for this Modoc. Morbius, that'd be nice to have too. Yeah, I don't really wanna have to contest that Morbius right now. I don't think we wanna go at that. So let's just play Dakin. It's fine. Bro, 
Everybody's playing the same decks as me, but I am losing a lot. Are they losing as much as me? I, I don't know. Oh, Morbius. Uh, Samurai now hits the Morbius. I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to play the Morbius. Odin has decided to fist bump. I understand. I gotcha. Yeah, we still have Modok, so I mean, I think Morbius is okay here. Green Goblin. Oh, this is that, like, Binks uh, doubling list, I think. I didn't understand the Green Goblin in that, but I didn't look closely at it, so I'm not sure. Uh, Modok here gives us a top deck of Dracula. Miles is meh. We could just hard play an apocalypse. So actually the opponent, if they're going for, um, with, with Titan in particular, they can go for uh, what's his idiot right now, Arnim Zola, and then the Dakin gets really big here. So we would need a lot of power left. Or, well, yeah, we can't really win right. Yeah, we need a lot of power left. Can we get big enough is the question. I don't know, it's Liberty Snap. Oh, they didn't do what I thought they were gonna do. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna see an Arnim Zola here with Titan. We did not see that. Okay. Well, that makes me more nervous. That Meek is also really in a bad spot right now. I mean, Colleen's free here. It moves the Meek, which is important, I guess. I really thought we were gonna see an Arnim Zola last turn. I guess they just wanted to get magic and it was their last chance to do it, but I don't know if you can, if you maybe, maybe they didn't have the Arnim Zola yet, but I thought that's why they snapped. So I don't know. I don't know. Meek seemed less good, but by the way, the, the reason I'm not playing an Artem Zola kind of Perry Manilow list or the new Binksy version is, is specifically because Meek seemed to put it at risk a little bit, I thought. Like, you, you get a weird Meek that moves into the wrong place or something, you know, you could be in a, in a weird pickle, I think. Well, you can't play Artem Zola and Modoc now, so now I think we just try to win this straight up, right? Meek moving around though just made Arnim Zola risk. Maybe this isn't Arnim Zola. I don't know. They're, they're emoting. I can't actually see what they're saying. I got I got a stupid text covering it. Stupid stupid uh, deck list. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> Is this enough? Ravona and Killmonger. Oh my Meek! No, dude. That's so rude. Yeah, I don't think they hit their um. Yeah, I just don't think they hit their Arnim Zola, which I thought that's what the snap was indicating, so I'm really surprised. Titan Arnim Zola seemed like a, 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 a given, and then it just kind of pivoted and fizzled, right? Well, Meek was good that game. Morbius was good, yeah. The extra turn definitely did, did matter. The Miles was cheap, played it alongside the Apoc, which was pretty cool. Okay, I can live with that. <sighs> Jesus, mistakes were made. Okay, uh, Colleen into Swarm is totally fine, yeah. Built this deck so that the swarms would be hit more often by design uh, so that we'd have bigger hands for Meek and Morbius since Meek's going to be driving hopefully some of the power here. M what? Excuse me, Mobius. It's rude. He still cost two. Sucks. Okay, well, that's a pain. An Elysium game with them having Mobius hurts. Dakin is nuts in Muir Island. Might single-handedly carry Muir Island here. Yeah, no, no Meek means a Miles is going to be a dead draw, which, look, I've tried two different decks already today with different things. I just added the Miles. I don't know, man. We we, we might just uh, we might just need the Miles. Like, uh, just, <laughs> just deal with it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, sadly, we lost a chance to hit a Modoc here thanks to that Maximus. Well, I'm going to lose it, but we, we missed it anyway. We can try to get by on a hell cow, but that's going to be tough. Like, in other words, this Dracula is pretty iffy. You can't actually put Dracula in, in, in Muir Island now. It's actually good again. Used to, it didn't be good. So maybe we'll just do that. So that at the very least, you know, Dracula plus three is going to get buffed and do some Muir Island things. We don't hit a Modoc. Yeah, we missed a Modoc, but Meek is okay. Does Muir Island go off first or does Meek go off first? We're about to learn something. I'm not sure. But we definitely need to hit either Modoc off the top or actually Modoc off the top would be insane if we keep Miles in hand. Yeah, that would be nuts. The swarms are still there for the Dracula is the only problem, but it makes Meek much bigger. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a problem. I had another swarm. Okay, that's it's good. Maybe technically a little early, I guess. 
him down to this Dracula a little bit. I don't know. My, can I get a Modok? Oh, Modok still hits all these swarms. Oh my god, I. Oh, that, you idiot! Mobius! No! You, Mobius, you're such an idiot. This feels so all in, right? There's no way. There's no way that's right. This this has a chance to hit either Apoc or Swarms. Apoc is 12, which puts you at 36. Bro, there is no way I win this game. Meek is going to get really big and maybe win wherever he... Well, he's going to go right for sure. So we are technically contesting left, mid, and right. Because we're up 8 to 6. Meek is going to be... Nine power right, and of course we're we're adding enough here with Dracula and Modok to contest left. So I mean, theoretically, how insane would this game have been without Mobius? By the way, we could have dumped all these swarms. Like this game would have been that that Sif might be just too much left, depending on the Dracula. I didn't do the math. Uh, oh, Ghost Rider's also really big, unfortunately. Uh, is this Modok big enough? I need I need the Dracula to hit Apoc. I think right. Yeah, it has to hit the Apoc. Oh boy, it's not a good chance. <laughs> it's not a good chance at all. Oh man. Mobius single-handedly countering me here. It's not a good chance, guys. <laughs> Go in order. Go in order to hand. It's easy. Oh, so close. It's like it's teasing you. It's like it knows. It's teasing you. <sighs> This Mobius, man, single-handedly beat us. I mean, Meek, Meek honestly did some work here, man. Like, nine power is nuts. It's really good. Did he get buffed by... Yeah, one by Muir Island. Okay. He did get buffed by Muir Island. So, uh, this eight normally. That, that That's great. Just Mobius, man. Couldn't play our Miles. Couldn't play uh, Swarms to isolate the Apoc. Basically, the, the Mobius single-handedly countered us. Okay. Um, No Meek, no Morbius. Hitting Meek late feels a lot worse than hitting Morbius late, I will say. Oh, hey, they got a Meek. Cool skin, too. Oh, can they make it move out in time? Will it come back? <laughs> All these questions and more. Yeah, Colleen. Colleen's a whiff, unfortunately. Oh, they're going to have to. They have to have, like, a Sif here, right? <laughs> they have to. Dakin is fine. Hotel Inferno is totally fine. Uh, Dracula is good if we hit a, uh, oh my god, their Meek is dead. No. Poor guy. Oh my god, we deleted their Modok too. Oh no. I need a Modok though. I need a Modok. Do we trust the Dracula here? We have Modok and Hellcow to hit. And we have a little time and we have Iron Lad too. I think we can trust the Dracula, yeah. As long as we don't play into Vibranium Mines, I think we'll be okay. So without a Modok, I feel a lot better about taking into Morbius. That feels pretty good. Yeah, let's go. Let's go Meek into Iron Lad here. The only card we really don't want to hit is Swarm, but we definitely want to hit Modok. No question. Um, we can figure out a way to support this Daken maybe later. Oh, bro, I have a combo A version. That's kind of cool. Boy, what a total whiff, huh? Samurai gets rid of a Morbius. Colleen gets rid of the Shard. Th th there's a part of me that thinks they're going to play a Gambit. And I want to just, like, play a bunch of small stuff. Is this crazy talk? <laughs> like... <laughs> like obviously playing the shard is wrong if they don't play a gambit because you could just discard it anyway and then the daken gets bigger but i'm thinking about just having a body on board that absorbs a gambit uh, dude i don't know man i'm gonna uh, it could just be morbius right like this may be overthinking this i don't know i'm probably overthinking it but i'm gonna feel really bad if uh, i guess this kind of achieves the same thing though doesn't it yeah i guess this achieves the same thing maybe this is fine I, I think there's a really good chance it's Gambit. <laughs> Whatever the case. Maybe we're too strong, right? But that Morbius there, you, you, it makes you nervous, right? That's just a Colleen Wing. Okay. Uh, Apoc into their Dracula probably wins the mid, but they didn't play anything left. So. Yeah, okay. We're chill. Meek moves left. That helps. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we lose mid, but that's okay. Yeah, nice. All right. Like we said, Dakin contesting Morbius feels pretty good. 
So they're like a little more combo-y, which I have a version I want to try with combo-y stuff, but... Uh, Meek, I mean, Meek moved to the right spot. Uh, this is nice, a little bonus, I guess. Surprised we didn't see that swarm go left to at least contest a little bit. I don't know, especially if you knew, but I guess they were worried about my Dracula. They didn't know I didn't have a Modoc, so... I might have been thinking about Dracula is really scary, which is reasonable. Ooh, game number one. Meek is in hand. He can't go left, but he can because he can move. Yes, I think in this deck we tempo Meek, right? A little bit exposed technically to removal, I suppose. Um, Killmongers and so on, but ultimately um, we have on curve discards. I think we want to play in this deck. So um, Dakin and a Samurai is a pretty good curve here. Nothing is a good target for Sif quite yet. Kitty Pride, is this gonna be a Shuri Kitty deck? It's kind of cool. We definitely don't want to discard this turn. Meek might move into Murder World, although I guess he happens after each turn. I wonder if that procs before or after location afters. I don't know, good question. Bacon's a good mid, but it won't beat a Shuri Kitty stuff. They go that route. That hood excuse for them, jeez. Can we discard anything? Like if they play Shuri this turn, well, no, it's gonna be lowest power. That's never, that actually would hit Shuri, but it's never gonna hit Kitty Pride. Also, now we have Morbius in hand. You fool, Morbius! Discards Hellcow. I'm gonna rip the Hellcow. We got this. It's gonna hit Shard and Swarm easy. I'm actually too good, dude. Um, oh, Meek, there you go, buddy. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. He's up to three. That's pretty good. Can he catch um, Shuri, I guess, is the question. Bro, these... These discards. Uh, Dracula and Samurai both here really don't do a lot for me. I think we go this route, right? We can actually play Swarms uh, left. It's pretty cool. We got stacked power across the board here. Samurai's a good hit, I guess. If we hit Dracula into like Apoc, we'd be really happy. Let's see where Meek goes. When it is beasting, yeah, okay. Maybe not Shuri, maybe just regular bouncy stuff. I don't know why I got so caught up on the Shuri, but it looks like maybe regular bouncy stuff. It's gonna be hard to maybe beat. Oh, uh. I mean. Yeah, that's fine, right? We don't have to worry about Shuri here. That feels kind of one. This is actually eight and eight. How big is that Shuri? I'm not sure. Kitty. God, Kitty is my first game of the day. My brain's mush. Actual mush. I'm just wondering if I need to try to win mid or not. Maybe I just give up mid. Meek is uh, is going to move, so that makes it a little bit harrowing. I think we I think we give up mid. I think they're going to be able to contest mid too much. So I think we had power right basically. We could have maybe tried to fork, force uh, Meek right, but it would have been a 50-50, so that seems risky. Shang-Chi, that's expensive. Are they going to be able to get to 24 right? It's definitely not impossible with, with Kitty and Bishop scaling. Bishop's putting them at 12 already. Oh, I think they get there, right? Oh, Mysterio at 4. Is he, is he right or left? Or mid, I mean. Oh, God. No! So freaking close, dude. Yeah, if, if Meek had moved here, if we didn't have a swarm, the 50-50, man, maybe. Ooh, Meek on one. Savage land Meek, we gotta be a little bit careful. Bro, I don't know if Iron Lad's the right call on the stack. I basically took out some of the stuff in here that um, I felt worse for Meek. In other words, like I wanna keep a slightly bigger hand size than normal. Uh, because I, you know, Meek benefits from having more cards discarded off Modoc. Morbius benefits from having more cards discarded off Modoc. Um, and that means I want a slightly fuller hand. So I tried to isolate Swarm as the as the primary target usually for Silver Samurai and Colleen Wing, and unless you play Dakin, of course, in which case Dakin becomes the primary target. But basically, I just wanted a like safer, bigger hand play. In essence, um, Lockjaw Thanos, this is gonna be tough. Shuri's Lab, okay. It's not too bad for a Lockjaw, because normally the card coming off the Lockjaw ends up being smaller, right? Oh, oh, bro, Modok is four. Let's go ahead and rip the Modok, right? It should be fine. Um, Apocalypse goes back to six, so I would be playing a top deck. 
I could get away with maybe an Iron Lad sometimes. Play Modoc next turn, I guess. But if this hits like a Hell Cow, uh, we do lose our Modoc some of the time. Perhaps that's a risk worth taking because it's only Hell Cow that's bad in that case. Dracula is certainly fine. Um, and Dracula's new wording makes Iron Lad much, much better for it. Okay, that's actually pretty chill because that that's a buffed stat line we benefited from. Plus, we still have Dakin benefiting as well. And then um, Dracula actually becomes really interesting here, right? Because we're going to Modoc into Apoc. And then we have double Dracula. And this gains power too. So we're definitely winning left. So then it's really just about winning mid probably. Which means I think we play a Modoc here. Although, I don't know. Modoc right certainly benefits a lot too. Um, but yeah, this is the first Dracula. So... Oh, we did expose a bit of a weakness there, didn't we? <laughs> I see, interesting. Okay, so maybe we go back here. Although also here kind of makes sense too, because this is eight now, that's 10. This puts us at 18 left. Yeah, that actually makes a ton of sense. Um, oh, but we're hitting swarms. What a terribly timed swarm. Oh, really, really badly timed swarm. The only time I hate to draw a swarm, realistically. I mean, I think we have to take our chances. This puts us at 18, I said, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a chance we just win mid anyway, right? They don't play anything. Meek gets really big and goes right, but that's a waste. We actually want Meek to stay mid in this case. I wish, he's, I wish he got big and stayed mid. Um, is three enough off the Dracula? It is, right? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's actually enough. Meek is a little wasted, buddy. Sorry. Oh, we hit anyway. Nice. But three was enough. <laughs> Remember the... Uh, the, the 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 negative stats are already accounted for there he gains power now not sets power so it actually would have been fine old dracula hitting a three would have gone to two but the new dracula was already at one he actually moves to four and then goes back to three which would have won three to two so interesting game dude that was pretty cool meek mm, in this particular position didn't help much if he'd stayed mid the move hurt us there really realistically meek can I get a meek on one? I cannot. It's a pretty good Dracula Modoc traditional hand though. I like that. Gamma Lab Swarm. I mean, it's going to be worth more as that than anything else, right? Couple swarms in hand, even buffing meeks and Morbiuses and stuff doesn't become worth 12 very quickly. Human Torch makes me think um, Phoenix Force, probably. Maybe even Tribunal Phoenix Force stuff. Which will make this cheap, I guess. Uh, okay. So we're even on Hulks, but they do have their Phoenix Force set up. That's tough to beat if it all hits. Like, it kind of impossible for this deck to beat, actually, without a Shang Chi or something. Yeah, Dracula's chill, whatever. So this is probably not a turn five Modoc, probably a turn six Modoc game. Cause I would like to get the Morbius down. Oh, that's a cool Phoenix Force skin, dude. I love that. That looks sick. Unfortunately though, if they have a tribunal, I just, I can't win across the, across the field, right? It's kind of impossible. Yeah, Hulk certainly doesn't hurt. Yeah, hopefully we don't... Uh, oh, we already played our Swarm, so we don't have to worry about Swarm, yes. We're, we're good on the Modoc. If they move this, we can actually play Modoc and Miles, which is pretty cool. Mm, oh, come on, no way. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, I don't... Is Nimrod... I don't think Nimrod's in the Tribunal lists, maybe. If I think about Tribunal, I don't... I don't think he's in it. I mean, you assume this is moving. It's probably moving left. So we probably lose left anyway at 28. I might need to win both of these here. Like I might need to hit twice. It's still pretty risky that we lose though. I'm just assuming Torch goes left. You, you, you kind of always assume to beat that Dracula. So you're just trying to win, right? And not not suffer the fate of uh, Danger Room. Oh, this um, sends the Nimrod mid. Can the Venom get destroyed? Are we big enough? We're surely big enough mid though, right? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, we're not, we need both of these to connect. If, if one dies, we lose. Oh wait, don't, 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 don't do me this way. 
Don't do me this way. No. Oh my god. I can't. <laughs> Dude, I cannot win a game. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I cannot win a game, dude. Oh, uh, <laughs> losing it, dude. I think we played that correctly, too. It just cannot catch a break.